This is Melanie Wilkinson with YorkNewsTimes.com. Well, in York today, if you see a giant bus with President Barack Obama's face on it, you're not seeing things. It is real. It's a part of a nationwide tour being conducted by Americans for Prosperity. They stopped in York this morning to talk about their points of view and their push for the upcoming election. If this is a problem, this, this budget deficit we have, it's a problem that we can solve by reducing spending and increasing taxes. That's what they want us to believe. Well, let's look at Social Security. We had ample money coming through. The problem was they spent it all. So the way I get this across to people is, yeah, you can, you can increase taxes on job creators, which is going to end up hurting our economy. But what you're doing, you're scratching the itch. You're not curing the disease. The disease is spending. Look at Social Security. They spent that money. They weren't supposed to spend it. They couldn't help it. They knew how to put it to work better than any other people did. And so this idea that we can solve our budget deficit by increasing taxes, it's not true. When you increase taxes, you're going to have more money to spend. What are they going to do with it? They're going to find different ways to spend it. This is history. This is not just my opinion. This is the way it has happened. What we're here to say is, four years later, you have to quit blaming other people. You have a record of four years. You had two of those years, your party, Mr. President, controlled the Congress. They had huge majorities in the House and the Senate. And in those four years, you know how many times the President has passed the budget? No. Zero. He had, he had majorities in the Congress for two of them. He couldn't pass the budget. His most recent budget that he submitted, you know, how many U.S. Senators voted for it? None. How many members of his own party voted for it? None. Zero. His budget, his priorities are so out of touch that he couldn't even get members of his own party in Washington, D.C. to vote for it. That's the information that we need to get out there. So again, um, the Americans for Prosperity are moving through town and across the nation to spread their word before the general election in November. Again, this is Melanie Wilkinson with YorkNewsTimes.com.